Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. I am Zoelle, and Zoelle is me. Um, this is your SmackDown review for June 4th, 2021. Um, please smash that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, leave five comments, leave ten comments, show your girls some love, and let's get into the show. I hope you enjoy. Jay out here trying to kill Rey Mysterio. I mean, I, I'm loving the energy, but we like Rey Mysterio. Don't, don't, you know, don't kill him just yet, but, you know. Roman did say uh, bring those titles home, so I think Jay took that to heart. While Jimmy's just kind of enjoying being back in the ring, so great storytelling so far. But where's AEW? I'm looking. There's still a movie on. What the fuck? I'm just saying. You know what? Let me just focus on SmackDown. You right. You right. Let me focus on SmackDown. Let me get it together. All right. I'm not even gonna lie. I like the white and orange um, Dominic is wearing. I like it. It looks nice on him. Um, for all the slack and for all the, you know, shit that second generation wrestlers get, Dominic has really picked up uh, wrestling, um, obviously, with Rey Mysterio as, as his father. But, and this is this is things that people already know i just wanted to say like dominic is he's really good in the ring for somebody that's still very new to it although he was raised into it but i just wanted to say he's he's looking good and i like the orange and white but with all that said my twins better win the title tonight because if they don't we're gonna have an issue okay we're gonna have an issue I honestly wasn't even going to watch the show because with all the releases that went on, like, this company makes me sick. But I was like, you know what? That's not fair to the people that are still on the roster. They obviously, it's not their fault that their friends and co-workers were released. But, you know, every time I think that WWE and Vince can't get any low, they surprise me and they go low. So, man, I don't know. This show is definitely going to feel different, but... It just sucks. Alistair Black. Even going back as far as Samoa Joe. Like, how do you let these people go? Ruby Riot. Lana was trash in the ring, but there's a place for her. You know, but again, it just sucks. This company really fucking sucks. But anyway, back to the match. I'm sorry. I'm venting. So this was my face when the Usos lost. Jimmy's shoulder was clearly up, but I'm guessing they're leaving that open so the Usos can have another match where they will, in fact, win the tag team titles. I mean, now that I think about it, the Usos shouldn't win the titles on just some throwaway episode of SmackDown. Now, I had some time to think about it. It does make sense. So... The shoulder up thing and the ref missing it, that was a good way to, you know, continue on. So I'm not really mad at it. Roman looked like he was seething, but I'm a need for Joe to calm it down. And Jesus, we have a Seth Rollins interview. And I can just imagine how bad the suit's gonna look. I'm excited. Roman, you yelling? Oh you yelling? Don't be yelling at Jimmy. You 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 can you can yell at Jay, but don't be yelling at Jimmy. Alright? Don't make me have to get Ooh so crazy. Never mind. Roman is getting a little spicy. Like, I'm starting to take offense. I liked it in the beginning, but I'm starting to take a little offense now. Like, you just want to talk shit about Jimmy to his brother Jay and his face? Like, what, that what, what you doing? Does it even really matter? Like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I don't know what's been in the, uh, the coconut water, but, um, all right. And cut to Seth Rollins looking like a tablecloth. Or, C 
Lucy, even my child's laughing. A tablecloth or, you know, a, a pair of curtains. Some wallpaper. I'm going to stop now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop, I promise. So Chad Gable and the Street Profits. Right message, wrong messenger. Chad Gable is not the one to tell the Street Profits that they have been on a losing streak and have dropped down uh, the ladder. Oh, fuck, Carmelo. If that's what a boob job and possibly a nose job and some lip fillers will do, then I need to start stacking my money so I can uh, get the same thing because... I'm not gonna say nothing. I wonder if like the confidence that you really think that you can wrestle comes along with that package because it seems like that's what Carmella got and somebody didn't tell her wrong. Poor Liv. Sarah Logan's gone. Ruby's gone. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I for sure thought uh, Liv was gonna be released next. But I feel like, and this is no shade to Ruby because I absolutely love Ruby. Um, I think that they know that they have something in Liv. I mean, not only is she just the cutest and just most adorable ever. I mean, I love her. I think she's gorgeous. But I think that, you know, Liv has a fan base. And she does have a marketable look. And again, this is no shade to Ruby because there's no way that you can fault Ruby for her look but praise Rhea Ripley it like literally makes no sense so um you know I think they just know hopefully they know that they have something with Liv they just really need to capitalize on it the right way and plus the downfall of not having someone like Ruby Riot on on the roster is the lack of diversity as far as like looks go because you know, Liv is a blonde. She might be like an ash blonde, but she's a blonde. Pamela's a blonde. Charlotte's a blonde. Dana's a blonde. Mandy Rose is a blonde. You know, like there really are, even Natalia's a blonde. You know, there really is no diversity among the girls. And you know, Vince has his type, which is just ridiculous and sexist, but we're not gonna have that conversation. But, you know, it just, it sucks. It really does. You know, I feel bad for the women's division as a woman and as a fan. You know, it's really hard to find girls to get behind. Black girls, too. But that's another conversation we won't get into. And just like that, Liv Morgan taps to Carmella. Now, don't get me wrong. Neither girl is wrestling at the most technical level ever but i would take live over carmella any day uh carmella has a personality i mean carmella you hear me live has a personality oh my god don't even show the replays from raw they had Shayna baser fucking talking to a doll i can't believe this fucking company sometimes like just forget what i was saying because i'm aggravated now Okay, since the Usos are going to get another shot at the titles, tag titles, they might just win it. I hate to have to walk back what I said earlier, but even if they win tonight, or don't win tonight, or don't win tonight and win another night, it's okay. Because the titles belong on the Usos, that's a fact. The Mysterios are cool, but y'all are just not... Y'all are just not my twins. Y'all are just not the Usos. Okay, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Why is Bianca challenging Bailey when she's a, when she's the champion? Shouldn't it be the other way around? I just feel like they're not only did they strip away everything that made Rhea Ripley great, they're stripping away everything that made Bianca Belair great. Like this fucking company, bro. Like. <laughs> I mean, I've seen Rhea's promos getting a lot of slack, and I can understand why. She sounds terrible. 
Bianca doesn't sound any better. And this is coming from a Bianca Belair fan. I love Bianca. I think she's gorgeous. I think she's talented. I think she has so much charisma. She's a star. But these promos lately, I don't know what it is. Like, I thought that I would be getting more from her and Bailey, and I'm not getting it. And I don't know why. I can't put my finger on it, but it's not there. That wasn't the best Bianca Belair promo. That's just my opinion. Don't kill me. But that visual of all those Baileys laughing was pretty good at the end. Uh, Bailey has been the champion of the pandemic. Um, I cannot stress that enough. Uh, more of this Otis and Chad Gable crap. Let me guess, we're gonna have a tag match between the Street Profits and Chad Gable and Otis. Again, my two year old can write a better show. This is ridiculous. I love Shinsuke Nakamura. Probably just as much as the next person. But I can't for the life of me find a fuck to give. Like, not only is Shinsuke Nakamura just being wasted in WWE, like everybody with a functioning brain knows that. But anything involving Baron Corbin, to me, is like the equivalent of repeatedly banging your head on the wall. Just that's how I feel, and that's how I feel about this this feud, quote unquote. I have ice cream in my hand. Um, if they're gonna do all this to bring back King of the Ring, then okay, I'll understand it. Well, I, I, I'll understand it, but I won't condone it. Anything with Baron Corbin, I can't condone. But, but. Nonetheless, if they're going to bring back King of the Ring, then okay. Then fighting over this plastic Walmart crown that Baron Corbin's been walking around wearing. No. It's still stupid, but at least it'll serve a purpose. But we've seen... Oh, Pat McAfee is such a... He's funny. I like him on commentary. But these repeated matches between Shinsuke and Baron Corbin... It should have been one and done. Two and done if I'm being lenient. Like, this roster is so thin. Oh, my God. Anyway, back to my ice cream. So, Baron Corbin won. Is it me? And please, please tell me if I'm off. Is it me? Or is Kevin Owens being booked like a man who just stopped giving a fuck? Like, I know he's not in charge. Just, just, just hear me out. He's booked as if, like, he basically told the writers, like, listen, I don't care what you put me in because I, I, I just don't care. Like, I don't care. I mean, he, everything he's involved in just feels, like, so lazy. Like, and just, it, you know, they start something with him and they never finish it or it has, like, this, this abrupt ending. It's like... He just feels like he's on his way out. Like, I'm off. If I'm off, I'm off. I'm not even going to hold you. I don't care about this Kevin Owens and Apollo Crews match. Um, It is 9.30. AEW comes on at 10. So I'm about to get ready to bathe my kid. Um, I'm going to make sure I still see the Usos match. But... I'm about done with the show. Seriously. I know I'm not the only person that feels that way because you hear my daughter in the back. So she's she's ready for her bath. Um, this show is just so boring. Jesus Christ. They are just dragging the Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens thing into the ground. Like, beating a dead horse. Like, they're doing beyond that. Like... Hopefully this will be the end. Apollo won queen, uh, queen. You hear me? I'm just so aggravated. Apollo won clean, so let's just move on. And the Street Profits. You can just tell, like, with the recent releases, like, 
just the releases overall you could just tell how thin this roster is because we keep seeing the same faces for the past hour or so or going on two hours we saw the street profits three times already we're gonna see the usos five times including backstage segments like jesus this roster is thin i literally don't have any words right now roman essentially got the usos disqualified so they don't win the titles and now he's beating the shit out of the mysterios to prove what what are you proving that you're jealous that the usos were in the main event this time that jimmy's back and he's in the main event like i can only respect roman for them jordans those are those are my favorite jordans i need that color i'm about to go buy that color right now but on another note look at jimmy jimmy just looks so pissed off bro like this is insanity roman is such a jealous bitch <sighs> ridiculous but like I said earlier, this is obviously going to set up for another match for the Usos to actually win the titles. So I'm not that mad. Um, but I mean, what can you say? Uh, so yeah, that was my review for the show and my reaction. Of course, if you liked it, please smash that like button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Leave a comment. Like I said earlier, leave 10. I'm always here to talk to you guys and I will see you in my next video.